Is your closet a hot mess? Maybe a little disorganized and cluttered? Well, today we're gonna go over some tips, tricks, and hacks. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove everything from my closet. So I wanna be able to start with a clean slate. So I'm gonna remove all the shoes, the coats, everything on the shelves, completely gut it. Once everything is out, you can see how much clutter and mess was sitting inside that closet. But before we go through that, we need to clean our space. So we're gonna start by cleaning out the closet. So I grabbed my vacuum cleaner first and I'm cleaning the floor of the closet as well as the baseboards. And then I'm also gonna vacuum off the shelves and the entire closet first because there's a lot in there that needs to be sucked out first before I can get a nice efficient clean. Next, I'm gonna take a damp rag and I'm gonna wipe down all of the shelves, the hanging rack, the floor, the baseboards, the walls and get it nice and good and clean. I'm going to place a shoe organizer into the bottom of the closet and I'm gonna look at all the shoes we have. What I've calculated is each family member, and there are four of us, can have about four pairs of shoes that will fit on a shelf. So each family member gets a shelf and four pairs of shoes that you use the most often. Now I'm gonna teach you a little thing my mom had taught me and I pass this on to my kids. So I'm gonna take my mittens and place them into my hat. So I'm gonna squeeze my scarf into one sleeve of my coat and then the hat and mitten combination I'm going to put in the other sleeve of the coat. So place your snow pants onto your hanger and then place that inside. And now your whole outfit is complete. Now we're gonna talk about some of the things we can do with the shelves. And one of the things I like to do is get some white baskets and I can even write the name of the family member on the basket so they can reach up and know that that's their basket. My husband has a lot of hats. So I'm gonna place hats in one of his baskets and you can stack them or you can fold them up, whichever you prefer and place them in there. The same can be done of any hats, gloves, scarves, anything like that, and you can have a basket per family member on the shelves. Another way you can hang up some of your accessories is to get a dollar store trash can. I placed chalk stickers on the front of those trash cans and labeled each one with our names on it. Then inside of our laundry room, we have a coat hanging rack. Above that, I've placed four command hooks so that each family member has their own command hook. And then I placed the trash cans on the command hooks. Now our coats are on the coat rack and our hats and mittens are above that. And I can swap this out seasonally. We like to use over the door hanging racks. And some examples of the things you can put on those racks are hats, coats, backpacks. And if you have wet gloves or wet hats from being out in the snow, you can set them to dry up on those. Now we run out of room for our cleaning supplies inside of our closets as well, but we need some place to hang them. And this is where those over the door hanging racks come in handy. You can also place an over the door shoe organizer, but we can also place hats and gloves, cleaning supplies, as well as sunglasses. So many possibilities. Another idea if you run out of space is to place your winter items or your summer items in a tub and store them until it's the season and swap them in and out. So you can stack them in your basement or storage space and I hope this inspires you to try some coat closet hacks of your own. I grabbed three empty soda containers from my home. And then I hit the dollar store and bought mesh cups, this rack with hooks, a couple of these soft storage boxes, and these cool planting pots. I have this closet that isn't really used effectively. It's more of a catch-all for things I don't want to deal with. I wanted to make this space much more organized and usable, so I took everything out measured the dimensions inside, and realized it was about the size of an Ikea tabletop I had. The table fit almost perfectly, but I did have to have my husband cut a little piece off the end so that it would fit around the frame of the door because it was just a little too big. Once I got the table set up, I started using the tension rods to store my ribbon. I just removed the rubber stopper from the end of the tension rod, slid the ribbon roll on, and then mounted the bar between the back wall to the front wall. That saved a bunch of space and allowed me to see all my ribbon at once and pull it as needed. After that, I got to work on my soda boxes. The first step was to cut the top off. I then wrapped the boxes with fabric, much like you'd wrap a present. I didn't want to sew anything, so I just folded the edge, applied hot glue with the glue gun, attached it to the container, and wrapped it around. I folded the ends at the bottom, and then at the top, I just tucked it in. You could also choose to wrap the box with wrapping paper or even vinyl sticky paper. These made perfect holders for my wrapping paper. For my gift bags, which I have traditionally just kept inside of another gift bag, which then gets all torn up and worn out, the storage box from the dollar store was perfect. I knew I wanted to keep the tabletop as clear as possible so that I could use it for crafts or for wrapping gifts. So the solution was to attach my planters to the wall and use the wall space inside the closet. 
I thought these planters looked like a honeycomb, and so I tried to put them together in that same way. It was fun to create a little theme in this small space. Once I had all my pots attached, it was time to install the row of hooks that I'd bought. I used some of the hooks for items like shrink wrap for baskets and wine bottle bags, but on the other hooks, I hung the wire mesh cups that I'd bought. I set everything up, adding gift tags and light items to the cups, filling my honeycomb with supplies that I wanted to have easily on hand, like smaller gift bags, tape, my glue gun, and colored mesh. I added scissors and my favorite pens for gift tags so that I could always have these at hand. And here it is. What a difference a day makes. Everything's organized and I have it easily accessible. It only cost me $20 to get this done. It may cost you slightly more if you have to buy the $3 tension rods or if you have to buy a $30 table to put in. Anyone else have a tiny cluttered front closet? I have some tricks for you. Begin by completely emptying out the closet. If your closet is outdated like mine, add a coat of paint. When it's dry, add the top shelves back in place. Next, I added a shoe rack for easy access to board games. You could also add shoes, scarves, gloves, or other items. The possibilities are endless. After filling the rack, I neatly tucked my vacuum next to it. Next, I added a mixture of cloth and plastic bins with the remainder of the toys from the closet. I then placed them on the top shelves. After that, I screwed in some hooks to add our hats. Not enough closet space in your bedroom? Try this! Begin by measuring your space and cutting. I cut my boards using my chop saw. If you don't have a chop saw, you can have your boards cut at Home Depot or Lowe's. After my boards were cut, I sanded them with a piece of fine grit sandpaper. Next, I marked where I wanted my shelves to go. Then, I applied wood glue to the edges of my top piece and I nailed it in place. Once the ends were glued and nailed, I attached a clamp holding everything together until the glue cured. Repeat these steps for both ends of the storage unit. Next, I assembled my shelves by gluing and nailing them. For the double rails of each shelf, I knocked in two of my small cup boards gently with a hammer and used a piece of scrap wood as spacers. I then use my staple gun to nail them in place. This will finish off the front of the storage unit so that nothing will fall out. After that, pre-drill and drill the top and bottom of the unit into your closet. Now they're ready for shoes. You can use this handy shelf in so many rooms in your home. Your bathroom, office, living room, the possibilities are endless. I hope this inspires you to think outside the box in your cluttered closets. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.